You mentioned the Chargers uh, have the number one defense in terms of points allowed. Now, now, there is a caveat to that. These are the quarterbacks they've faced this season. Gardner Minshew, who ended up getting benched and then is back. Bryce Young, benched and back. Justin Fields got benched. They did face Patrick Mahomes. Bo Nix, a rookie, Kyler Murray, and, and Spencer Rattler. So uh, there's a caveat to that, number one. They, they haven't faced, you know, the... It kind of looks like the back end of the uh, Browns schedule last year when we were saying who Joe Flacco beat. So um, I, I guess the question becomes, what do the Browns need to do to get a win here? What, what are some of the keys to this? I would just say keep doing what you're doing. I think the running game is going to improve. I think we all saw Sunday there were a couple of instances you know, where you saw Nick Chubb, you know, there was the left cut, then there was the jump cut to the right that led to what was his longest carry, you know, from scrimmage to through two uh, two games this year. I think when this offensive line is out there and know they have Nick Chubb behind them, I think the confidence level and maybe, you know, the stress level is a little bit easier. You know, they don't, they know they don't have to be perfect. Um, so you have Nick coming back. Most likely there's a good shot. You're going to have Jerome forward back. So you're actually going to have a complete running back room or your vision of what's going to be your complete running back room this week. You know, again, the confidence level is playing high. You know, they do play two rookie corners. There's not a lot of teams in the NFL that are going to do that. And now you got some wide receivers playing, you know, with some good amount of confidence. And if you tell me you're playing rookie corners, again, I'll say it. I, I say it every week when we talk to Cleveland Browns. That tells me there should be some shots at vertical plays or at least some opportunities to try to complete some vertical balls down the field. I, I don't think the Chargers are this big mountain to be slayed and to, you know, say the Chargers are four and three and the Browns are two and six. You throw those things out the window and you look at both these teams and maybe where they're at currently. You know, I, I wouldn't say the talent level is drastic one way or the other as far as which team is better than the other.